Hello everyone, welcome back. This is our example three video, integration by partial fractions. We have the integral of 5x squared plus 4x minus 7 over x plus 3 as a factor and x squared plus 4 as a factor. If you distributed these out, you would notice that the lead term would be an x cubed term, and x cubed is a higher power of x than our highest power of x on the top, which is x squared, so this is a proper fraction. I obviously can factor the bottom because it has arrived to me in factored form already. So we're going to go ahead and set up the partial fractions that we already got in our previous partial fraction decomposition video, which you can check out that video at the link provided here. Okay, when we solved our partial fractions, we got 2 over x plus 3, and we got 3x minus 5 over the factor x squared plus 4. And so we would have the integral of that dx. This first one here is going to be a log rule. So if we set u equal to x plus 3 and du is dx, then this is going to end up being a log rule for this one. For this one here, if I have an x or I have a constant, it's going to sort of depend. So what we're going to need to do is actually break this up into two pieces. We're going to want to think about the integral of 3x over x squared plus 4 dx. And then we'll also need to think about minus the integral of 5 over x squared plus 4 dx. If we do that, then this one is going to be a u substitution, because if I let u equal the bottom, the derivative is 2x, and that's a multiple of 3x, so u sub will work here. If I do this one, then this is going to be some multiple of an inverse tangent definition. So we have different methods for each of these. Okay, we're going to work um, one of these at a time out of all three, so we don't have any u's out there confusing other u's and anything like that. So this first one, I, would, I could bump the two out if I want. I have two integral of du over u, and that for us is simply going to be two ln of u, and so that one is going to be two ln of u was x plus three in this one. For the next one, if I let u equal x squared plus 4, then du is 2x dx. And if I want to replace the 2 with a 3, so I end up with 3x dx, then I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 halves. So I will get 3 halves du is 3x dx. And then I know what I can replace 3x dx with. It's 3 halves du. So I will get 3 halves integral du over u. So that will be 3 halves ln of absolute value of u, which is x squared plus 4. And then in our last one, this inverse tangent definition, we might remember, hopefully, that the integral of du over a squared plus u squared is equal to 1 over a inverse tan of u over a plus c. So we're going to use that idea here. So in this one, it looks like a is equal to 2, and u is equal to x, and du would then, of course, be dx. So if I bump the 5 out, then I'll get minus 5 integral of du over a squared plus u squared. So if I go ahead and think about 1 over a, so I have a negative 5 out here. 1 over a would be 1 half, so I would have negative 5 halves inverse tangent, arc tangent of u over a, which is x over 2, and we'll put our plus c there, and I'm going to go ahead and go back and just do a little bit of fancying our second term here. You'll notice that x squared plus 4, x squared is always going to be non-negative, and then when I add 4, this is always going to be a positive expression. I don't really need these absolute value brackets there, so we'll just go ahead and say, hey, 
take the ln of that without absolute value brackets. You don't really need them. All right, so that is our example three. Hopefully that gives you some idea of how all of your integrals can work out differently. Log rules, inverse tangent rules, u sub, all that stuff. All right, thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you in the next one.